Hello everyone. Um, my name is Ricky Brugahev. I'm going to do a little meditation today. And uh, one of my favorite themes in classes and, uh, and in meditation is to focus on grounding. And um, grounding is, for me, it took me years to want to be grounded because I was always living in these upper chakras and woo woo stuff and uh, and a mentor of mine reminded me you need to stay grounded so I do that and I'm in my bare feet almost all the time in the grass even in winter so have a comfortable seat sometimes it feels nice to sit on a cushion if you can avoid leaning back into something it would be best but if you if you fatigue it's okay to lean back in meditation we don't want to be uh, having to harbor anything or um, endure anything, should we say. So allow your eyes to just slowly close. We'll take a few synchronized breaths together. Exhale, please. And through the nose, fill up. Four, three, two, one. Pause the breath, but don't hold it. And then exhale. Four, three, two, one. One, pause, but don't hold. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Place your pause and exhale. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Take four more just like that. Just honor your own pace. The slower we move, more attention we bring to what we're doing. Got about two more. Notice where you feel the breath. Is it in the throat or the belly, the chest? And the last cycle of breath. Great. Your breathing can go to autopilot now. Bring your palms to your knees, so palms down. Symbolic of grounding. Ground down with your sitting bones. Your spine will get a little more, a little taller. And just notice your belly moving in and out. your own pace. Just honoring your own pace. And what is grounding for you may not be grounding for other people, but there are some things that are usually pretty grounding for us. Nature is a powerful one. A warm bath or a pool or a swim in the lake can feel really grounding. And the palms down on your knees, sitting bones pressing down. And there's an energy that comes up from the earth that helps us to ground and to heal. It, brings, it takes down inflammation in the body. And just imagine that energy coming up from your cushion or your seat, knowing that a few inches or a couple of feet below you is the earth. And imagine this energy coming up from the earth through your the base of your spine. And it travels up your spine bit by bit through each chakra one by one. And all the way up to the top of your spine. And take a slight contraction of your pelvic floor. Just the slight one. And this will keep energy flowing up and down the spine a little bit more. 
and that healing energy coming up from the earth. Top to the bottom of your spine. Excuse me, bottom to the top of your spine. Keep pressing down with your sitting bones, so sometimes we kind of start to slouch here. Like a little, little bit of a pride in your sitting position. And from here, I invite you to just focus on your breath. You can relax your pelvic floor if you like, or you can keep it contracted. It will help you focus a little more on what you're doing. So maybe that will be your focus, or maybe just your belly moving in and out and the feel of your breath, maybe that will be your focus. If you're more of a visual person and you want to visualize that energy moving up, up and down the spine, that works as well. But breath is usually pretty grounding for us if you want, want to try focusing on that. Arms in as comfortable position as possible. And I'll leave you here three or four minutes just focusing on whatever it is work that works for you. Usually the breath. So if a thought, another different thought comes in your mind, just try to bring it back to the breath. Sometimes it can help to feel the belly move in and out. And that's all you have to do. Nothing on the list. And I'm going to come get you in three minutes. Grounded, stable, seated position. Belly in, belly out at your own pace. And again, a grounded, stable, proud seated position. sitting position. stable seated position. One more minute. Belly in, belly out. Proud seated position.
from here. Deepen your breath slightly. Just a slight amount will do it. And as you inhale, imagine bringing in more of that grounded, grounding energy. And as you softly, slowly exhale, kind of share it with the room. Inhale, imagine more of that energy coming into you, the grounding energy. And exhale, share it with the whole neighborhood, the whole block. Inhale, bring in more of that infinite energy from the earth. And as you exhale, share it with the whole city. Breathe in the energy. And exhale, share it with the whole state. Breathe in. Exhale, share it with the whole country. Breathe in an infinite supply, this grounding energy. Exhale, share it with the whole planet. And we'll take a few like that. These are just offerings that you're offering every person on earth, every tree on earth, every insect. And especially, maybe exhale and share it with those who are needing more compassion right now. And usually if we get a little ungrounded, it's in our lower chakras and we can become emotional and, and afraid. And there's a lot of that in the world right now. Every exhale you share it with the entire planet every being, every plant, flower, tree, insect, all life in the oceans. is offering this gift of grounding. Each exhale is a gift. Breathe in. It's a gift from the planet, from Earth. That energy that's supplied from the Earth. And that energy actually comes from the Sun and the great central Sun, the galaxy. An infinite supply from Source Creator, however you define that. And then each exhale is an offering that you offer to share with others. And because you are a little more grounded now, you're more, more aware of where that energy comes from. Hopefully a little more connected to however you define that creator that supplies that energy of safety and grounding, compassion, and of course, love. Let's take four more breaths just like that. Breathing in the gift of grounding. And exhale, sharing the gift of grounding. Three more. Two more. Breathe in one last time. Share it with the entire universe. Notice yourself in your seated position now. The weight in your sitting bones. And turn your palms to the sky. And that energy comes down as well as coming up from the earth, it comes down to the earth. In through the crown of our heads. And down the spine, 
just being aware of these, even if we only imagine them, can very often help us to feel more grounded. And I would invite you, if you're in my classes regularly, you know I speak about grounding a lot, and getting the bare feet on the grass or on the soil, or working with the hands in the garden. There's healthy microbes and the energy we spoke about. There's all sorts of gifts we're waiting right there. Slowly bring your hands to heart in. If it's something you feel, offer some gratitude for all the energy that's supplied for us. And like any gift, it's up to us whether we want to use it, uh, accept it, or refuse it, or just kind of ignore it. I hope these 15 or 16 minutes here help you to feel a little more grounded. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. And a slight bow forward to honor your higher self. And I wish you a beautiful day, guys. Namaste. Have a good day, guys.